Hello and thanks for watching Proactive. G-Mining Ventures says latest drilling at its flagship Tocantinsinho project in Brazil has shown the mineralization extends below the current pit design. With more, I'm joined by the company's CEO, Louis Pierre Gignac. Uh, Louis Pierre, very good to see you today. Hi, nice to see you. Thank you for having me. You're, you're welcome. So you've released assays for 13 holes drilled this year. Take us through the results so far. Yeah, we uh, initiated an exploration program on, on the project, and uh, this is our first exploration program since acquiring the project from El Dorado. Uh, so we did 6,000 meters in 28 holes. Uh, so we still have nine holes uh, with assays pending. Uh, so most of this drilling was focused in the pit area, um, defining what we'll be mining during pre-production and looking to find extensions uh, below the pit and to the north uh, of our current pit design. So that, that was clearly uh, achieved with this, uh, with this initial program. And you do say in the press release that it confirms higher grade gold in the main pit area. Yeah, so we have very wide intervals. Um, for example, one of the holes was 193 meters of 1.48, uh, which included uh, some higher grade intervals, uh, such as 12.8 meters at 4.6 grams per ton. Uh, so within these, uh, this very wide interval uh, mineralized body that we have that's about 150 to 200 meters, we do get these very nice uh, high-grade uh, intercepts uh, that show continuity from, from section to section. So will you be increasing the extent of the areas which will be, which will be mined at pre-production? Um, so the pre-production is really focused on, a, on an initial starter pit um, and to really generate waste rock for construction. Um, but with this drilling, we will be updating our resource model uh, in, in the coming months, and we'll be able to evaluate the impact on the overall final pit shell that we have. Uh, so that'll be an ongoing exercise. In the meantime, you are working on the mine construction, aren't you? Correct. We uh, made an official construction decision in mid-September. Uh, so since then, we've uh, started our construction activities on site, uh, which are currently focused on expanding our uh, camp facility uh, that we aim to complete before year end, and then moving on to the main construction of the process plant uh, beginning of next year. Uh, and, and, and still drilling in the meantime. Correct. So we've, um, we, we do want to keep an exploration program ongoing. Uh, we've approved a budget for next year that's going to keep one drill turning at a minimum on our project for the full year. And we've um, committed to doing a soil sampling program on the remaining uh, exploration licenses that we have that weren't previously covered. Uh, so we're really looking to find extensions in the main Tocantanzino trend. Uh, that we find is very uh, attractive. We have very good soil anomaly in there, in, in, in the continuity uh, to the southeast of the deposit uh, with good grab samples and, and good uh, geophysical indices as well. Louis Pierre, with the continued drilling, what would you expect to find? Yeah, I think what we're looking to find is, uh, is really a new deposit uh, that's within the Tocantensino trend. Uh, we feel that uh, this is going to be a, a separate target that we refer to as Castor. Uh, so not really an extension of the current pit, but a, a complete new deposit that we're looking to find in, in, uh, with this next phase of drilling. You also recently announced that you're, you were buying down the, the, the net smelter royalty. Can you take us through the rationale for that, how it works? Yeah, so with the uh, royalty agreement that was on the uh, on the project. Uh, once we made a construction decision, we had the uh, opportunity to do a second buy down on the royalty. So we essentially bought back uh, 1% for 3.5 million US. Uh, so that was a very creative uh, pro, uh, you know, transaction for us to be able to buy down that, that royalty. So that was completed uh, at the beginning of uh, October. Uh, Louis Pierre, what sort of news flow should investors be looking out for as the year draws to a close? Um, we'll, we'll be doing a, a project update uh, by, for, for year end to show progress that we made on the construction front. Uh, and we'll likely be issuing some additional uh, exploration results maybe uh, before year end or early into next year. Oh, I hope you'll keep us posted on any, any progress. Thank you very much for the update today. Thank you. Louis-Pierre Gignac is the CEO of G-Mining Ventures.